Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we even get started, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rokakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutations to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that labor for this word and its truth and righteous sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Brother Hakar from GMS South Carolina Midlands. And you know what I'm saying? What I'm about to do is I'm about to play a clip of uh you know what i'm saying of maxine waters a old ass fucking demon all right old ass fucking black demon all right you know what i'm saying and you're gonna see she's advocating for women to have the right to uh you know what i'm saying to have abortion you know what i'm saying pretty much you know she's uh in a stance you know what i'm saying um of women should be able to do what the hell they want to do with their body at the end of the day and um and you did, and this right here is all due to the uh, Supreme Court turning the role in the way uh right to abortion all right and I believe uh that role in that way uh decision uh was made on um, by the Supreme Court going all the way back in 1973 but it's the Supreme Court overturned that decision of that role versus a way of women right to have abortions you know what I'm saying so you know you know the demon black woman they want to kill the baby fetus they, they they're responsible for killing majority of Israelite babies off top you know Israelite babies they didn't even have the opportunity you know they didn't even had opportunity to come out the womb they killing them while they still up in the womb or whatever you feel me you know what I'm saying so you know we're gonna listen to uh you know what I'm saying Miss Maxine Waters all right and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the scriptures man which showing you how wicked these damn women are at the end of the day because you know what I'm saying because you know when you're sitting up there and you have an abortion all right you 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 pretty much you killing that killing that life that's inside of you I don't give a damn soon as that that man seed the man seed is life regardless all right you know what I'm saying everything starts with the seed right you know what I'm saying the seed has to grow all right and, and, and you know what I'm saying the seed uh you know what I'm saying? When the seed into the woman, you know what I'm saying? Hit that woman egg or whatnot. That's life, man. All right. All right. That's life. This the life beginning the seed, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, but the, the, the seed, you know what I'm saying? But the, the seed have to be bought up. That's why they uh, compare a woman to the earth. You know what I'm saying? So the seed have to be bought up. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and, and it's bought up, you know what I'm saying? Through the woman. The woman carry the man's seed at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right. And here it is. You have a woman talking about she can do what the fuck she want to do. With her body, you know what I'm saying, you know. So that baby fetus, you know what I'm saying, you know, hey, that's life right there that that woman is taking at the end of the day. But they don't want to be held accountable. They want to make excuses. But you know, when you got the wicked Esau that's ruling, shit like this right here happens, man. This is what happens, man. All right, you know. But uh, without further ado, man, let's hear this old old ass fucking demon right here, man. Maxine Waters, man. Her big ass mom. Yeah, how about your mom was shy? They yeah, gonna have a special death for her ass too, man. She ain't about a fucking demon, man. But uh, here we go. You see this turn out here? You ain't seen nothing yet. Women are going to control their bodies no matter how they try and stop it. The hell with the Supreme Court. We will defy them. Women will be in control of their bodies. And if they think black women are intimidated or afraid, they got another thought coming. Black women will be out in droves. We will be out by the thousands. We will be out by the millions. We're going to make sure we fight for the right to control our own bodies. Thank you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, man, she was straight goddamn demon, man. You know, women will get together for wickedness, man. When it comes to wickedness, you better believe women will come together, man. All right, you know? And we're not referring to, you know, everything in context, man. We're not referring to the, the sisters, you know, because the scriptures speak of the elect lady, man. Not the sisters that, you know what I'm saying, that's listening. You know what I'm saying? Not the sisters that are hearkening to the men of the Lord. All right, you know what I'm saying? Starting the elders, apostles, great millstone to the elder bishops on down the elder brothers and on down us, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? That push forth this word in the truth of Yahweh Bashim Shah and righteousness and sincerely, man, bringing out the hundred percent truth. You know what I'm saying? You have sisters that actually hearkening and, and, and taking heed, man, and listening, man, and, and making those corrections that they need to make to the best of their ability. Not those few select sisters, man. Ain't number few of them any damn way. Not them, but majority, all right, majority damn women in Babylon. And, and like I said, Eve is the leading nigga woman is the lead 
all right, of all other um, of women, man, when it comes to goddamn um, abortion, man. Look at the statistics, man. The nigga woman is leading in that, man, when it comes to abortion. Like I said, when it comes to wickedness, a little funky ass is leading in that, man. But let's get 1 Corinthians real quick, man. Let's get 1 Corinthians 3. Let's read verse 16 right here, man. Because Maxine Water talking about they body belong to them. Nah, man. Body belong to you. How about you? How was shot, man? Actually, you know what I'm saying? Your body belong to your man, your husband at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? You know? But, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... Let, let's read the scripture, man. I ain't got to say no more. I'm going to read the scripture. About to say something. <laughs> about, about, about to say something real bad. But let's get 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. It says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, and that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. So your body don't belong to you. Your body belongs to Yahweh Shema was shy. And ultimately, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shema was shy. You know what I'm saying? He created the woman for the pleasure, you know what I'm saying, of the man. The, the man and the woman are, are not equal. So you how about you shy? Like I said, man, he created the woman for the man at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right. So I, the men, you know, we belong to you how about you how shy, man. All right. But our women belong to us at the end of the day. That's why, you know, when you go in Isaiah 4 and 1, you know what I'm saying, a man you know what I'm saying? He he's not gonna be delivered by no fucking woman, all right? You know, he's gonna be delivered, you know what I'm saying, because he of the elect of Yahweh Bashim out with and and because of his faith, you know what I'm saying, and his works, man. That's how a man of Lord of Israel, all right, of the elect is gonna be delivered, all right? And and that woman, the only way that woman gonna make it if she's with a man of the Lord. Going back to Isaiah, like I said, let's we can get that real quick. Isaiah four and one, man. All right. So these damn women want to get abortions or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Because scripture also said a woman shall be saved in childbearing, man. So 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 these bitches, a lot of these bitches, man, to get all these damn abortions and shit. A lot of them, man, are unable to have kids because they don't have so many abortions or whatnot. To you, how about your mouth was shot? Curse they womb, man. They, they barren, man. They can't even bear kids, man. All right. But let's get um Isaiah. Hold on. And this right here, they go Esau plan again or whatnot. Hold on. Let me we now y'all just see me going Isaiah. Hold on, let me make sure I went in the right. Hit Isaiah four and one. I hate when these damn shit do this right here, man. But that's okay. That's okay. That's all right. That's how we gonna do it. Get that out of there. That's how we gonna do it. More than one way to skin a cat. All right. Let's put it back up. Put it back up. All right. Um, Isaiah four and one, and in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, "We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach." Man, all right. So those seven women is not actually means seven. All right, seven just means completion. So that can be a hundred, a thousand. You know what I'm saying? Women clinging to one man, which shows you that a man can have multiple women at the end of the day. All right. And then it's also said we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. So a woman going to have a, her own resources. All right. You know what I'm saying? She she ain't going to want a man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, can you can you buy me this or buy me that? No, no, I, I can I can take care. I can, I, I you know, what I'm saying financially, I can take care of myself. I just want to be with you. I just I need you to take this reproach away from me. You know what I'm saying? You know, I need your name. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey we reading. Hey, they're going to humble their ass down in that day, man. And they ain't going to be to any man. going to be a man of Israel and a man of the elect of Israel. It says, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So only way a woman's sins are going to be forgiven, her transgressions are going to be forgiven unless she's with the man of, of the Lord, man, or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah at the end of the day, man. All right. You know, so, you know, that show you, man, you know what I'm saying? A man, he don't need a woman to get delivered, but a woman need a man to be delivered. All right. Um, Let's get, uh, let's go back to uh, first Corinthians three and 17, man. All right. First, uh, Corinthians, first Corinthians three and 16. It says, um, hold on. First Corinthians three and 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh and that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy for the temple of Yahweh is holy, which temple ye are. So your body don't, Freaking belong to you, man. Your body belong to your how about you, how shot, man. So when you sit up there and make those type of uh, uh, uh transgressions or whatnot, you sinning against, you know what I'm saying, your how about you, how shot, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day or whatnot, man. But you heard uh, Maxine Waters, you know what I'm saying, you know, 
um, oh yeah, I can do what I want to do. We can do what I, what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, cause it's our body. We can do what we want to do with our body. Nobody can tell us, you know what I'm saying? What to do with our doggone bodies or whatnot at the end of the doggone day, man. That, that just show you the uh, pride of these damn, um, fucking women, man, at the end of the goddamn day or whatnot, man. And the wickedness of these goddamn women at the end of the day, man. All right. You know? And like I say, they'll justify their goddamn fucking wickedness by saying that, that that's their damn body. And then uh, and then in the early stage of a woman being pregnant, she get she you know she she being accepted with the child. Oh nah 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 that that, that child is it, that, that's not life yet. You know it's not life yet. Cause I forgot how many months. You know what I'm saying? What they want to justify when they say, you know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm saying? It's life inside of them or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But nah, it's just a baby feed. It's a, yeah, man, it's, it's life at the end of the freaking goddamn day, man. It's so fucking stupid, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, you know, um, you know, up there, like I said, a woman to justify her wickedness, you know what I'm saying? There's so many goddamn ways or whatnot, man. All right. That's why majority of uh, two thirds of men are going to be goddamn fucking women. You heard her. Her and Maxine Waters. Yeah, they, we going we gonna to come in goddamn groves or whatnot. We going to come in groves and what have you. But uh, the scripture, you know what I'm saying? I was bringing out, you know what I'm saying? Um, as far as the woman, you know what I'm saying? She was. You know what I'm saying? She was created for the man at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right. The man wasn't created for the woman. The woman was created for the man. All right. You know, and see the woman, she she can have abortion without the man consent, man. Here it is. The, the man seed. She carrying the man seed and she going to destroy and kill the man seed, man. At the end of the goddamn day, man. All right. You know, and, and, and show you how wicked this society is. Like I said, man, you know, the, the woman, she don't need a man consent to uh, commit murder, man. That's what the fuck it is. We're going to say just what it is. Woman commit murder, man. All right. But uh, just grab it. You know what I'm saying? Just bringing that point where, you know, what I'm saying the woman, you know, what I'm saying she was created for the man, man. All right. So we're we're lords over the damn women. All right. Uh, first Corinthians 11. And, and, and in this society, being that we're up under these curses, going back to Jeremiah, you know, I believe at 31, 22, a woman shall compass a man. So, you know, what I'm saying, you know. Due to the curses or whatnot, yeah. How about you, my shall put it, put put the Israelite man to shame, man? All right, why? Because you know, so we broke the laws that you and commandments, man. Oh, yeah. How about you, me help a shot, man? All right, you know. But going back to First Corinthians eleven and nine, it says, "Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man." Hey, man, you, you know we don't even have to even break that scripture down at the end of the day, man. It breaks itself down. That's self-explanatory, man. You know, like I say, man, these women. You know what I'm saying? And they also show you, man, they, 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 they hate you. How about your mouth shot, man? They hate the words of you. How about your mouth shot? Because when you bring them scriptures, man, they ain't trying to hear that, man. Well, that's back in the old days or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, the Old Testament. That's the Old Testament. That Old Testament done away with. That's over a gazillion years ago or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You know, the times done change. Times done change. But they can't show you no scripture on that, though, man. All right. The Lord words don't change at the end of the day, but you can't tell the damn woman that at the end of the day, her wicked ass. But going back to uh, Genesis uh, one and twenty eight and, and you know what I'm saying? And it says, and Yahweh will bless them. Yahweh Shema will shall bless them. And Yahweh Shema will shall said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. And now nowhere in there it says, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh shall said unto them, commit abortion if you feel like it, because it's your own body at the end of the day or whatnot. I'm doing a video, doing a video. But, um, you know what I'm saying, going back to Genesis 1 and 28, and Yahweh blessed them, and Yahweh said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? But the main point in um, verse 28, it says, be fruitful and multiply, man. Not have no goddamn abortions, man. But when you have the wicked ruling, which is Esau. All right, which get which writes unrighteous decrees and laws or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? You will have a society like this right here, man. All right, it's totally ass backwards, man. All right, they'll, they'll allow murder. Go ahead, you saw he'll put, he, you know, if a man, if, you know what I'm saying? You sit up and you, you commit murder, you know, you physically murder somebody, or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You'll go to God, dag on, you know, they'll put, they, they'll lock your ass up and your ass uh, go to goddamn prison. You'll you, you do jail time, you do prison time, but yet. You know what I'm saying? Esau, he's not balanced. But yet, when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, a woman having an abortion, Esau, you know, he, he'll write laws the, the, and decrees allow them to do that, man. It just got overturned, you know what I'm saying, what, about a week or a couple of weeks ago or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I don't even think it's overturned in all states at the end of the day. I don't think all all states in the United States, you know what I'm saying, um, you know what I'm saying? I don't think all states overturned um, that, you know what I'm saying, that uh, Roe versus Wade decision, if I'm not mistaken. All right. But, you know, what I'm saying at the end of the day, man, this right here is a, a wicked, wicked 
wicked society at the end of the day, man. All right, and you got the nigga woman that's leading it <laughs> head on, man. You seen old old hundred year old Maxine Water ass or whatnot, man. All right. Um I wonder how many I wonder how many abortions she had in her lifetime, man. All right, but let's get Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach and Apocrypha, 25 and 19. And it's read, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? A woman, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, she, when it comes to wickedness, man, you know what I'm saying? It's like second nature to her at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right. And she'll think nothing of it or whatnot, man, at the end of the damn day. And she'll sleep good, man. You know what I'm saying? Conscious of anything, don't even bother her, man. Like I said, you don't have women out here done committed so many different abortions. I mean, so many, not so many different, but so many abortions, so many different times, man. All right. I women not commit 10, 15 goddamn abortions or whatnot, man. All right. In one lifetime at the end of the day, probably more than that, man. All right. You look at Gabrielle Union, you know what I'm saying? Look, you can just imagine how many abortions her ass done had, man, with the host of other damn women out here, man. And now when, when they get of age and now when they, they quote unquote, find the right guy and when they want to have a child, they're unable to have a child cause they, because of their past, because they were young, being slut buckets out there. You know what I'm saying? Had so many different fucking abortions or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You know, now they're unable to have a child now, man. All right, cause y'all but your mouth shy, curse they wound at the end of the damn day or whatnot, man. Okay. And and really, man, at the end of the day, man, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, going back to uh Exodus, you know what I'm saying? That's murder right there, man. That bitch taking motherfucking life at the end of the goddamn day, man. All right. And what what does it say in the law, man? All right, what does it say in the law? Which Esau don't upheld at the end of the day. Okay. It says, Thou shall not kill. And what what and what are they doing, man? All right, you taking life, man. All right. When you take a life, what is that, man? That's murder. At the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right. I, it should be word should be murder there, man. Cause you know what I'm saying? When you murder somebody, you murder somebody unjust. If you you can be sitting up there trying to defend, you know, somebody trying to trying to do bodily harm to you and and you and you happen to kill them or whatnot, or of self defense or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? That that's not the same uh definition of, of murder or whatnot so it should be murder there but anyway man you know what i'm saying the point of the matter is you know what i'm saying thou shall not you know what i'm saying take a life man a right unjust at the end of the damn day okay you know and when they sitting up there and then committing abortion that what the fuck you doing you committing murder i don't care how you want to dress it up how you want to justify it all right justify that damn justify your wickedness at the end of the day hey how about your mouth shy hey you have to give account for that at the end of the day most i gonna bring judgment on your fucking wicked ass man and th and those are one of many those are one those are one those are th those are one of many you know what i'm saying wicked abominations you know what i'm saying that be taking place at the end of the day man there's one of many uh, wicked abominations that take place over here in babylon man all right um let's get um ezekiel yeah and, and those and those are Many abominations. Well, the elect, they're going to be crying out. We cry out for out of rocks. I can pray with the hopeful elect. We cry out starting the Elves Apostle Great Millstone on, on down us, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Back to my point. Those are one of many abominations we cry out against at the end of the day. The wickedness, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? It's one of many, man. So much fucking wicked abomination that take place in this wicked ass fucking hell. You know what I'm saying? We call Babylon here, man. Uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4, man, we're going to end with this right here. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that's talking about the elect, man. That's going to cry out for all the wicked abomination. And, and that mark, what it's talking about, that mark goes back to the Hebrew word tawab, man. All right. Which means a uh, mark of exemption at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right. And matter of fact, uh, just to prove that, because that's not the same mark, you know what I'm saying, in um, Revelation 13 and 16, man, all right, um, which going back to the word karagma, all right, which means a cutting, all right, in this, you know what I'm saying, a cutting or a graving, all right, uh, let me see here, let's go back, Ezekiel 9 and 4 here, all right, just to prove that point real quick, all right, Ezekiel 9 and 4, And get that word mark. All right. That's our Strong's 8420. Okay. And getting straight to the point, man. All right. Mark as a sign of exemption from judgment, man. Yeah, man. That's second death, man. All right. That's second death. Okay. Which is uh that, that, that lake of fire, which is courtesy of the nuclear missiles, man. All right. And, um... And y'all about you, told the angels, man, set a mark upon the elect men, man. All right. Uh, let's read it again. So now you have understanding when you when you see that word mark, man. 
Okay. And it says, and the Lord, Yahweh Shah said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all, not some, for all abominations, man. All right. And, and, and abortion is one of them, man. All right. I'd be crying out against, man. Okay. One of many. And it says all abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others, he said in my hearing and the others, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, they gonna have no uh, exemption for judgment, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah going to pass judgment on two thirds, man. All right, which is going to be dealt at the end of the day, which is going to come in many, many forms. It says, uh, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young. So the most I ain't discriminating. Both maids, maids are, are young women of marriageable age, man. All right, you know, and little children. Yeah, little kids too. All right. And women. It mentioned women twice in here, man. All right. Showing you the wickedness of the goddamn women, man. All right. Of all ages, man. <laughs> you know, especially the damn women out here committing committing um abortions adultery you know what i'm saying and a host and a host of others transgressions these damn bras doing over here in america man the feminist feminist um feminist women all right okay it says but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary yeah yeah israel man all right then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house yeah jake that uh, partakers of this truth man all right you know and them fall out in the world uh, are jakes that done sold out but uh, the point of the matter is, man, all right? How about your mouth? Should I say slay utterly, man? So it's all of them going to get it, man. All right? If you're over two-thirds, you're going to get put to death, man. All right? And these damn women committing abortions, man. Hey, hey, and and, and they are uh, in league with Esau. All right? They hand-in-hand hand with Esau or whatnot. And they co-sign, you know what I'm saying, a wicked-ass act like that. Hey, man, they're going to be part of, uh, you know what I'm saying, this number that you're going to be putting to death. They're going to be part of the two-thirds two -thirds club, man. All right, you know, and righteously so at the end of the goddamn day, man. And you, like you say, you heard Maxine Waters, man. Let's uh, listen to this goddamn fucking demon again, man. Let's, let's do it again, man. Her proud ass fucking demon. Okay. fucking female satan right there it's female satan right there man all right <laughs> and with that man i want to say shalom 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 man